don't respond to that hey i miss you message from that person who ghosted you those hey big head ah you i'm sorry bangundian I'm Mel. Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while and I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, but I've been a busy bee with life and, you know, work. But I'm always glad to be back on the channel to spend time with you guys. So thank you for your patience with me. And I hope some of you have not run away yet. Fingers crossed. To the returning subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome. Mauya, it's always lovely to see you. And to those who are new around here, please feel free to look around, check out the other videos on the channel. And this, and if this is your sort of vibe, click the subscribe button below and join the happy family. Welcome to yet another episode of Sip and Chat Sunday. This is a segment on the channel where we just unwind, get off script and chat as friends. Whilst of course sipping on something tasty. Today I decided to get a little bougie, you know, hop onto the soft life bandwagon <laughs> and divert from my usual mazoe. Today I'm having Coke. People, not just any Coke, this is Coke Zero. <laughs> anyway, so this is what we'll be sipping on today as we talk about what we're going to be talking about today. Guys, this is literally the last Sunday of the year. And I was just thinking to myself this morning, like, where has the year gone to? Ah, I, it has just flown by, like, but I suppose with lockdown and corona, it has just been a lot for all of us. We've gone through a lot, but I thank God that you're still here and I'm still here. So at least that's, that's a silver lining in a dark cloud. If 2020 has taught us anything, is that life is short. Life is too short to hold on to things that no longer serve us. It's too short to hold on to fear, to live in regret, and to really cling on to bad habits. And as I was pondering over this, I figured to myself that as we enter into a new year, it's time to have a paradigm shift. Out with the old, in with the new. The way I see it, the only way we can experience a better 2021, you know, reach our goals, evolve into better, more productive versions of ourselves, is if we leave behind certain things in 2020. So in this video, we are going to be discussing a few things which I think, in my own humble opinion, we need to let go of like ditch, drop, abandon at the strike of midnight 2020. One, the need to justify our feelings behaviors and decisions to other people listen that needs to stop so you don't owe anyone an explanation about the following things one who you love and why you love them if someone does it for you they do it for you the whole world doesn't have to know why huh two you don't owe anyone an explanation about certain decisions that you make. Because when all is said and done, it's you who has to live with your decisions. Three, you don't owe anyone an explanation why you are still not over something. I know a lot of times we go through things and people expect us to just jump over it, get over it. But if you are not over it, it's still okay. Don't feel rushed. Even if you're still upset four days after, four months after, four years after, you are the one who's dealing with the emotions. Saka ava vanufaroti, get over it to people. Uh-uh. In 2021, get thee behind me, Satan. In the new year, we are leaving behind self-hate. 2021 is the year. You and me, we are going to learn how to really love ourselves. Let me start off by saying that I'm all for getting healthy and whatever healthy means to you. Be it shedding a bit of extra weight, putting on a bit of extra weight, or eating healthy, increasing your exercise levels. I'm all for it because we need to take care of our physical bodies, right? However, 
if there's one thing that gets on my nerves is this pressure at the beginning of the year to get in shape like round is not a shape <laughs> and i think this pressure mostly comes like from seeing people on social media you know and also maybe interactions with family during the holidays and you know black people we have no chill the minute they see you they don't ask you how are you ningi it's always eh who was simba you know oh hey kuwanda kuwanda makodo chete no you know uh -uh. it's always one comment or the other that's that annoys me so it sort of like culminates into this pressure especially at the beginning of the year when you've come up with your resolutions and stuff for a person to alter what they look like guys the only antidote to self-hate is self-acceptance we are all built differently we all can't be size zeros we all can't have an hourglass body all guys can't be over six feet tall not all guys can have a six pack we are all different and trying to fit ourselves into this impossible beauty standard that society has created for us will just drive us insane i know some of you will be like oh yeah it's easy to say blah 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 i've got goals i've got aspirations and that's all well and good the only thing I want to say is that if at the beginning of the year, even as you start working towards that ideal body type, that ideal aesthetic that you're going for, make a decision to accept yourself exactly where you are in that moment. Because to be honest, all we have is the present. The past is done. We're not guaranteed the future. So you need to embrace your cellulite, embrace your rolls, your dimples on your butt that are not on your cheeks embrace your small booty your big booty your pudgy stomach your short height your dark complexion your light complexion your hair that doesn't grow your whatever it is your wide feet your small hands <laughs> i don't know whatever it is that you're insecure about embrace it and be like you know what this is who i am this is those are series this is what i'm working with i might as well accept it how do you love someone else when you don't love yourself? And how do you see the beauty in someone else when you don't see the beauty in yourself? Think about it. Three, in the new year, we are done accepting, tolerating, and justifying dating bad behavior. On this channel, we have spoken extensively about dating bad behavior. We have talked about ghosting, breadcrumbing, benching, submarining, slow fading, love bombing, hot and cold, playing hard to get, situationships, collecting and stringing people along. Uh, what else? So many things. If you haven't seen those videos, check them out on the channel. In 2021, don't set yourself up for failure. You know, don't respond to that. Hey, I miss you message from that person who ghosted you. Those, hey, big head. Ah, ew. I'm sorry, Bangundian. You know, not so gamumwe. What could jump is rangwa? I mean, <laughs> come on. So, for those who haven't watched the videos on dating bad behavior on the channel, the rule of thumb generally is that um, if a prospective love interest is not consistent, does not communicate, or is not forthcoming with their intentions, doesn't communicate well and is giving you mixed signals having you googling dumb shit like um what does it mean when a boy or girl you like puts a full stop at the end of a sentence when texting you on whatsapp hi that's no good what that behavior generally means is that they're not interested or at least the interest level is not very high so what you should do is cut your losses and bounce let them go in the new year, let us not accept less than. You deserve love and you deserve to have love with someone who's willing to reciprocate. Four, in the new year, we need to stop with this I don't care attitude. I think that as the younger generation, we have really been cheated by the media into believing that not caring is cool, you know? I come across a lot of people who don't care about anything they don't care let's say about the politics or the state of their own countries 
and they justify their behavior by saying that um oh even if we go out and we demonstrate or we vote oh we don't change anything blah 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 and i can't get over such a laissez-faire attitude because even if nothing changes at least you've played your part you've tried to do something mind you i'm not here preaching politics though i'm dressed in camel i'm just saying we need to care about something you know and part of that not caring also goes down to our daily interactions with other people people don't care about being real anymore no one wants to keep it 100 because they're saying oh i can't be vulnerable i can't show these people how i feel because because it's this thing this dynamic that's happening these days is that especially in the love in love relationships if i show you that i'm interested in you actively show you chances are that you will retreat and be like ah ah you know i don't find her attractive anymore she's too eager she's too keen i'm like isn't that what you want you know i don't know what i don't know what's happening with our heads but we need to stop you meet someone who's keen on you and you're keen on them keep it 100 don't play these mind games it seems like we just don't care we don't care about our neighbors we don't care about other people we don't care about professionalism we don't care about ethics we don't care about the sanctity of anything everyone cheats everyone does what they want and i'm not here to preach i'm just saying we have to care about something this is what distinguishes us from animals we care we've got the ability to care True vulnerability lies in being able to stand in front of someone naked. What's and all, all your jiggly bits hanging out and you say, look, this is who I am. Accept me or don't. Five, in the new year, we need to leave behind the fear of the unknown. Cheers to that. I know that in this year, we have stayed in toxic relationships, in jobs that we hate, friendships that stifle us and situations that we have grown because of fear i know what it's like firsthand to be captive to fear to fear the unknown to fear that monster under the bed to fear what people will say to fear that big question mark you know the what if what if everything goes the way that i want it to go to fear hope I know what that is like i just want to encourage someone that let 2021 be the year that you tell fear back off the year that you start making those difficult and scary decisions because the truth of the matter is that we we regret the things that we don't do more than the things that we do i mean if you're gonna shoot that shot with that girl or that guy go ahead be numb dm huh Ask for a number, do something. The worst thing that they can say is no. You're not shoot your shot at anything. Go on. Six. In the new year, we need to let go of negativity and negative self-talk. This is a really huge one. Because the quality of our thoughts impacts the quality of our lives. We need to train our hearts and our minds to view situations through a lens of positivity. And I know it's not easy, especially if um, negativity self-pity negative self-talk a habit that you've been cultivating for years if you're negative you are always going to attract negative things to yourself but no it's your own mouth that created that negative atmosphere around you and another thing stop talking crazy to yourself you know what we all have those voices <laughs> in our heads that talk a lot of smack you know those voices that tell us we're dumb, we're stupid, we will never amount to anything. Negative voices, right? But the difference between people who get into depression or people who believe those words is perspective. Light will always overcome darkness, no matter what. You can't stop a bird from circling over your head. You can't stop a negative thought from getting into your head. But what you can do, you can stop a bird from laying from setting up a nest on your head you know what i mean so if you ever get a negative thought replace it with a positive thought and always remember you're lovely you are lovable and you're loved 
guys, this this Coke is flat now. I'm not gonna lie, but I'll drink it anyway. <laughs> okay, so we're on point number seven. I need to hurry along this one so that this video is not super long. The last point is spreading yourself too thin. I just want you to repeat these affirmations after me. I cannot do it all. I can't be everything to everyone. My worth is not tied up in what I can give or whom I can please. I am not a superhero. They only exist in the pages of comic books. So if you ever feel like you're spread thin and you're trying to please everyone, you're trying to do everything, just remember those words and repeat them to yourself. Guys, uh-uh. Stop spreading yourself so thin like butter across too much toast, okay? In the new year, we need to practice to say no. Especially if it's something that you can't do. You have to learn how to put yourself first. It's not selfish, honestly speaking. You have to let go of your superhero messiah complex. Sometimes let people go. Not everyone can be helped. You can't be swooping in and saving everyone. You can only lend a hand so much, but at the end of the day, you have to manage your own life. Last but not least, self-care and self-compassion are a big must-do for 2021. Okay. Guys, I've been rumbling on and on for so long. <laughs> I feel like I've been doing this video for two hours. Um, so let me just go through some bonus points that I thought of and just quickly jotted down. Uh, I'm not going to get into extensive detail, but I think it's just, we'll just touch on them a little bit. One, comparison. Comparison is the mother of dissatisfaction. Stop looking into someone else's plate. Eat what is in your plate. Two, bitterness. Bitterness, you're drinking poison, hoping for your enemy to die. Not going to happen. Stop it. Three, laziness. Guys, in 2021, we eat what we hunt um next point overspending let's live within our means because a rainy day will come so you need to save um oh this one this one i like this one living for the gram oh my goodness i was just saying to my niece this morning that social media is so fake let us always remember that everything that glitters is not gold so let's not live for the gram kupinam square it so that you impress people on social media we don't care um we're letting go of living in the past the past is gone the future is not guaranteed the only thing that we have is the present next point drama mama drama hi guys not every moment has to be an epic explosive experience uh -uh. it's okay to dial it down a notch step away from the drama and just live a, a simple boring straightforward life Right. Last but not least, uh, being right all the time. Guys, we are leaving that behind in 2021. Yes, I know. I've been guilty of this, always wanting to be right. But you know what that does? It isolates people. It is a sure way to lose friends and isolate people. This, I'm always right. See, I told you so. Ah, uh, sure. No one likes to know it all. <laughs> and, you know, that's the truth of the matter. So if you guys have any other things that you think we should leave behind in 2021, just feel free, write them in the comment section below. Let's have a conversation and help each other grow. We have come to the end of this video. I'm sorry if I was rambling and I was all over the place. I ended up having to refer to my notes because sometimes, hey, I get a bit unhinged. I overdo it. <laughs> anyway, I want to say thank you so, so much to my day ones and all the people who have joined along the way. Without you all, without your support, your feedback, your love, this channel would not be where it is today. Thank you for giving this girl an opportunity just to say what's on her mind and share what is in her heart. I really do appreciate it. Uh, this is the last video of the year. Uh, I hope to come back with more stuff, more content in the following year. Just let me know what else it is that you want to see. And remember to follow me on social media i leave my details in the description box below so feel free to connect with me 
I try to respond to messages that come my way as long as they're not creepy and invasive. I will respond. So until next time, we meet Muma Sai Sai, Musare Zwakanaka, Musare Munyasha, Muvene Goreja Zwakanaka. Happy New Year. Love you.